Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, today our cameraman is Henry, and we're going to be taking a look at the Arctic Wolf Suite 3660. We're going to get started up front. You'll notice it has a nice fiberglass cap with the blue LED lights to give it a nice accent. Also looks very sharp when you're at the campground and it's nighttime out and you turn those on. Underneath here, the white switch here is going to be the toggle switch for the front jacks to run those up and down. This is your battery vent. And then the docking lights is this switch underneath, and that would run the blue lights on the front cap. In the storage compartment here up front, you do have a lot of extra storage. There is your battery compartment. A 12-volt cutoff switch is the red handle there, and that will kill all 12-volt power to your battery. So if you're going to be parking this thing for a while, a week or two, you can um, hit that switch, cut all 12 volts, so it keeps it from draining your battery. I also want to point out that with the jacks up front, the Arctic Wolf does have a one-touch auto leveling system. So I will show you the screen inside, but it's, it's an awesome system. It's literally you touch it once and it will level itself out. Also notice the huge awning. It is a 20-foot awning on the Arctic Wolf with a nice blue LED light. Um, also helps at nighttime when you're camping. There is a solar port on the side where you could hook up a solar panel to keep your battery charged if you're going to be boondocking. On this side, there's a 20-pound LP tank. There's also another 20-pound LP tank on the other side. These will be filled by the Outpost RV. And as you can see, there is plenty of room here if you ever wanted to upgrade to a 30-pound tank. Um, you simply take these out and put the 30s in. A huge pass-through storage with an LED light. And right underneath that is your leash latch. So we are a pet friendly camper. Um, bring them right along and you can hook your dogs and cats right up to the camper there. As we move back, there is extra storage here. It goes quite a ways on either side of the door so you can fit some really long items in there. And this little slot right here, there's your TV hookups on the inside. So you can actually run your TV cable straight out if you wanted to and set your TV up on a stand right outside here. Up top, just a little bit, you'll notice the two blue um, lit up speakers right there. We do have outside speakers and inside speakers. The door is a friction hinge door, so there are no door latches anymore that you catch. This simply just opens and stays open right where you leave it, and it's to withstand up to 20 miles per hour of wind. The new steps are the sturdy steps, so when you step on them, all the weight goes right to the ground. You're not shaking the camper as you're getting in and out. And when you're traveling, these steps simply fold right up into the door. And then when you shut the door, they will pinch the steps from moving around. We also have a nice oversized grab handle to help you get in and out of the camper. And as we go down to the tires here, these are a quick, easy lube tire. The center cap simply, simply pops off, so you can uh, grease that. And there's also a little green tire pressure monitor cap. So that is gonna show you if you're low on air, I'm gonna unscrew it a little bit right here. If you can see it and it will turn red. You'll notice the side of it turned red right there. And then once it's full of air, it goes back to green. So you could just walk around and do a visual check of all your tires to make sure you're good on air. Around back here on this slide, you're gonna notice an outdoor kitchen area. It has a huge outdoor fridge and freezer. The left side is gonna be your freezer and the right side is fridge, offering lots of extra space for a lot of extra drinks and uh, cold stuff out here. Couple extra storage drawers, good for utensils, your cooking utensils you could keep outside instead of taking them inside and getting it dirty. And an extra cabinet door right up top there. In the back we do have an outside shower. It has hot and cold water with a sprayer that you can move around. Underneath with this blue cap right here, that is an LP tank quick disconnect. So if you have a portable gas grill, you can simply plug right into that and it'll use the LP on the camper so you don't have to take extra bottles. We do have a spare tire back here. Also the four inch tube bumper where you would store your sewer hose. The roof ladder. And at the very top, you're gonna to notice a little black box. That is uh, pre-wired for an observation camera. You can uh, add an observation camera at any point in time and that will allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're going down the road and while you're backing up. And then here is your power cord. It is a 50 amp connection. 
and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the water heater. This is a six gallon DSI water heater, DSI standing for direct spark ignition. Um, it is gas and electric. The electric switch is on the outside here at the bottom left corner. There's an on off toggle switch. The gas um, switch is on the inside and I will show you that in just a little bit. I do wanna remind you that before you turn your water heater on, you wanna have the water heater full of water Otherwise, you could burn up the heating element. Right up here is your cable satellite connections. If you're hooked up at a campground that offers those, you can plug right in. Your black tank flush, you simply hook up your garden hose to it, and when you're dumping your tanks after finished camping, that will clean out your black tank. Underneath that are your water connections. Up top is your fresh water. You would use that to fill the fresh water tank on the camper, where you would use your water pump to use that um, if you're boondock camping. And down below is your city water fill, that's if you're at a campground or at your house and you just have the water hose hooked right up to the camper and that pressurizes your lines. Here is the other side of the pass-through storage. No, I'm sorry, this is just an extra little storage cabin here. They got storage all over the place on this thing. I do want to point out the nice slam latch doors and the magnetic latches wherever the doors can open all the way up. That is a very nice feature. Over here is gonna be another storage, which is your pass-through that goes all the way through. And you also notice your power cord that sits up front there that does come with the camper. And over here would just be your other 20 pound LP tank. I believe that concludes the outside of the Arctic Wolf 3660 suite. And now we'll move to the inside. All right, and moving on the inside, we're gonna show you the back half of the camper here and get a nice visual. It has uh, four slide outs on this camper. So there is tons of room in here. If you have a big party coming or host a lot of people, it's also just spacious for two people as well. We're gonna get started right here in the corner with the kitchen. You'll notice the nice glass frame um, doors there. Gives it a nice home look to it. And lots of storage over there. On the back of the island over here, you get a lot more storage with some extra drawers and doors there. The high rise faucet with a single bowl kitchen sink, which is the farm sink, offers tons of space there. Over here we do have the very large 10 cubic fridge, top freezer, the bottom is the fridge. Beside that is your microwave and range vent, more storage, and a three burner stove top with your oven, and even more storage there. Over here we do have your heated massage chairs. Those are recliners. And yes, they are heated and massage chairs. In the very back, you have the trifold sofa. So if you need some extra sleeping, that will pull out into a bed. And also notice the outlets on either side. With the uh, right above the 110 outlets are 12 volt charge ports. And uh, right across from the theater seats is going to be your entertainment center. You have lots of storage up top there, as well as your fireplace down below. And the little black box on the right is your stereo. That is AM, FM, also Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync your phone to it and play music that way. The Arctic Wolf does have table and chairs, which are very nice if you want to get a good game of Euchre going or a card game. And also notice the zebra shades. The zebra shades are very unique and they add a nice touch in here. We're going to move up front here. And you're going to notice this would be right inside the doorway. is kind of the main control panel here. On the top left side is your thermostat. It is digital and touch. And below that is going to be your slide room switch. That is for the mid bunk here. And then here is kind of your main control panel. That's going to show you your tank levels up top. Um, turn your, your water pump on. Your water heater, the gas side, is this switch right here. And then below that is some light switches and your awning switch. Directly above that is your one touch auto level system. That is where you would come in to turn it on and off and run your auto leveling system. Right here is the mid bunk. You'll notice it has another trifold sofa on the bottom and then a bunk bed up top that folds down. Right now it's in the up position so if someone's sitting on the sofa you have a little bit more headroom. And directly across from the sofa is another entertainment center with more storage and extra storage on the side there. And now we're going to go back in the hallway and head up front. But before we do that, I'm going to show you a loft area. You'll notice these steps right here. And this loft is directly above that little bunk room. So there is tons of sleeping up here. 
you can fit kids all over the place. And moving up to the bathroom, you'll notice it has a very nice shower with a skylight right above it for the tall people. Um, I'm personally 6'3", and I can stand up very comfortably in there. It does have the porcelain high-rise toilet, as well as the fantastic fan right above it with multiple speeds. You get some nice airflow in here. And if I close the door, you will notice a very functional sink, lots of room. It's not that little bowl that's, uh, that you can't even wash your hands in. There's plenty of room in here. And then the medicine cabinet up top. And now we're going to move up to the bedroom. And you're going to notice a few things with the suite series here. There is a lot of room up here. So there's a nice dresser as you walk in to the right. You're going to have lots of storage up front there. Your bed is in a slide room here, giving you lots of extra storage. And then around the corner, you're going to notice another sliding door. And if I open that, you can utilize that as a hanging closet with lots of storage. And it's also pre-wired for a washer-dryer. So it is washer-dryer prep. You could add that at any point in time. I do also want to point out that we have two air conditioners on the Arctic Wolf. They are both 15,000 BTUs. So there is one in the bedroom as well. And if I open both those sliding doors there, you'll notice tons of hanging space and some extra shelves on the right-hand side. All right. I'm going to walk us right back down to the kitchen here. Nice long hallway, your loft on the right. There was also a nice little coat hanger right here. Is this door to the right and you'll notice that in our pictures. Again, I'm Jeremy. Thanks for watching today. Feel free to contact myself or Henry if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.